Camper Van Conk job. Now we're pretty pleased to introduce our new cargo control and cover range. There's a range of products that go from the cover for your mattress right up to storage solutions for those vacant spaces in your van. They come in two colours, the traditional Westy Grey and the beige colour. Uh, the reason we've gone for these is so it matches nicely with your van and enhances the appearance of your van. Also to cover up all those annoying drilled holes and um, auxiliary positions where previously people have had things fitted to your van and left the cabinets in a right mess. These are a great way of covering all that. First up is our mattress toppers. We get these done so you can have the three quarter joker style bed or you can have the full width multivan style bed. We do both sizes and we do them in the grey and in the beige. Let's talk about our bench seat storage panel. This goes across the bench seat. Again we do it in the grey and we also do it in the beige colour also. Um, there's cut out for the heat events. So that's if you've got the rear heater, that's if you've got the Eberspatcher heater. If you haven't got the rear heater there, it just gives a vacant spot there that you can um, pop your shoes maybe. And this cut out here is for the pull knob, so the seat lifts up. Uh, that pulls down slightly on the later models. In the earlier models it sits right there. All these are fastened with Velcro so you don't drill any of your units to get these fitted. Why would you? And again, it, it covers up all those horrible sins that have been done to your van previously, as well as protecting your unmolested van. Well, as a bench seat, we've looked at the rear storage on the back of the wardrobe on the Westphalia. Uh, two styles again, beige and grey. Uh, there's a nice pocket there storage pocket, there's a storage pocket there for torches, tent pegs, tools, what have you. And then we've got three storage pockets on there too. The reason it's at an angle, so you can fit longer items in there. If we did it straight away, like that way, then you're limited by that much room. This way you've gained extra space. And also we pop spanners in there. Um, it's again fitted with very high uh, quality um, Velcro, so there's absolutely no drill into your Westphalia interiors to get these fitted. And also, like we keep saying, that you can cover up any horrible marks in the, what's uh, been there in the past. Each one of these pockets is removable, so you could maybe put your bathroom stuff in that, for example, take it in the shower. If you're working on the van, you can just remove, um, you know, that bit if you want. If you're just doing a small job, small spanners, you can just remove that one. Same again. You don't need millions of spanners. You just need 7mm, you need 10mm, uh, two 10mm usually, uh, 13, two 17s and a 19. And I'll do most jobs on your van. Now let's move on to the doors of the van. The rear door of the van, the tailgate, <coughs> we got this again available in the two colours. This actually extends backwards, so it goes, you make use of the void inside the door. You remove the insulation out of the door to fit that. Uh, generally, you put your um, sleeping gear in there, so your pyjamas, maybe your uh, duck down blanket, uh, which would give thermal value to the van anyway. Uh, we don't really like the insulation in the doors because um, we've noticed even with the um, what is it the kind of sheep's wool stuff or the stuff that's supposed to be not um, moisture absorbent it just comes out it's full of mold so you're breathing all that black mold in and we don't like that um, and if it's got the fiberglass in there from the factory it holds all the moisture and that's why all the bottom of your tailgate's all rotten out so it's good practice to get that out 
and we keep going in and out of her, you get her flow behind the door, so it'll cut down a bit massively. So that's the rear door, the tailgate, and these ones here are for the sliding door. Now, we've been using these for a while as our prototypes. Um, they're awesome, so the, there's tons of pockets in these. These small ones here for like cables and stuff like that to get in the way, maybe your phone or credit card, whatever, just spare bits that just get in the way, and then there's quite a big pouch here for the bottom. Uh, again, if you use the if you use the void inside the door. Um, actually, I'm going to show you how we've been using it in our yellow van. Here we go in our yellow van. We've been uh, trialing this one out for the last year or so. Uh, as I said, these pockets are great. The smaller ones for keeping cables in. This is one of the cables for our uh, solar panel that goes into our um, power station. Um, phone charger cables, you know, all that sort of thing. Now the big one at the bottom is good for the bigger charges you've got, or bigger items. Ultimately, you know, you can put your clothes in there, uh, you put your blankets in there, you can put, like, that one's a bit more shallow, so like bank cards and stuff. Um, and then if you did have a break in, if that door's open, they wouldn't think to look in here because they're in the van. Um, but yeah, they're, they're really good, really good use of space and we use, um, we use the void that's in the door. Um, and that, that's a great use of space. We're now going to show you how some of this stuff fits. Obviously not very technical putting a cover on a piece of uh, mattress. But you will know that um, we haven't gone absolutely skin tight on this stuff because you know how annoying it is trying to get stuff in something that's just too tight. So we've gone a little bit slightly oversized just so it's easy to get it in and out. And then, um, you know, when you put your mattress back in the van, so that's really nice and um, matches all the interior inside the van. Right now we're going to fit the rear tailgate. Uh, panel. If you look on the back, you'll see that there's Velcro on there, double-sided Velcro with the sticky on the back. So what you do is you pull that back like that and that sticks inside the door. So it leaves your pocket like so. What first you need to just clean inside there so it, it sticks. So you can do that with some soapy water. In a rag, and then uh, let that dry before you move to the next stage. In the kit, you get all the little panel clips that you need to fit the item. They're really easy to do. This is a very easy DIY application that anyone can do, actually. But first up, like I said, remove the white sticky protector on the pockets. All your little panel clips, just separate them, so they're in two parts. Once you've got them separated, just get the inside bits, pop them in the holes, like so. Then offer them up into the factory holes of the door, like that. Push it in, and then get the bit that you've just taken out, and then thread that through into there, and then push that in with your thumb and then you just need to do that all the way around. Now you've got that in position, you can simply open the pouch and remember that Velcro. Then you just need to stick that to the back of the door. So while we're at the back of the van still, we might as well carry on in this area. Remember the wardrobe panels? This has got the tools in already. Well, this has been fitting on my van already. Uh, using same principle velcro um, so you peel all that off the back in and then if you want to remove the whole thing you can again no drilling strictly no drilling to your furniture this is where I've previously stuck this on so if you did take that to an area of the van that you wanted to work on that's fine and then to reinstall it you simply Pop it back, no worries. 
And then if you wanted to take, say, this spanner set to the front, off you go. And you can take that where you want. You can actually fit some of the Velcro in other places and stick it wherever you like. But to have it all together in one place, that's cool. Makes sense to have it near the engine bay because, you know, that's where all your kind of engine is. But it's very rare that you get engine problems. It's usually like some kind of weird things with your brakes or whatever. So having it stored near the engine kind of makes sense, but it's very rare that you have to just work in that area. So that's why these um, pockets are going. Taking off wherever you want to go around the vehicle or if you're working on someone else's vehicle that's also great like i said no drilling so just a kind to your westphalia next up is a bench seat area now we're building this van up at the minute so it's a perfect time to show you this um we've moved the heater that used to be there so if you've got cutouts like that, or if people have put speakers in previously and you don't want them there anymore, this is a great way of covering those up. Again, application is very, very simple. You can see there, there was um, Velcro on the back, double-sided. When it arrives, you peel, the, peel it off and then you stick it to the top of your seat bench. When you stick your Velcro, just ensure it goes to this edge here and then it bends around there at the 45, just so this matches up. The earlier vans have got the puller just a bit slightly up, so this will be in the furthest down position. And um, Like I said, there's cutouts for this vent here and that vent there. If you haven't got this vent, don't worry, it's so close to the floor that you wouldn't notice anyway. And if you haven't got the rear heater, again, don't worry too much because it's a great place to put your shoes in front of there. Um, but fitting, again, extremely easy. All you do, once you put your Velcro on, is stick it on top there, like so, and then just underneath the armrest there slightly. And there you go. You've got absolutely tons of storage there. The door can still open, just fine, just means you've got added storage here. Now time for the side panel, these fit in a similar way to the rear one. Again you've got the velcro on the back so the pockets can stick to the inside of the door. Uh, these fit both early and late style doors, uh, nice and easy. Um, again make sure we're taking the insulation out of there, um, just give it a clean just where the sticking points are going to be. Right, so let's get this uh, sticky back off there. Pretty satisfying job. We pride ourselves on these knowing that absolutely anybody can do this job. You don't need a specialist or to take it down the garage. If you get one of these for Christmas, you can pop it on the same day. You'll have your Christmas drinks in your van. That's the best way. And then once the big bits are off, you'll notice there's a couple of smaller bits just around there. Once that's done, same drill, get your clips and then start attaching those to the factory points. But here, there is a little screw. Um, we already took the panel off, there's a little screw there. And then that goes in that point that's there and then start start attaching these where they should go. Once you've done the screw, you've put all the, those in by hand, again use your rubber mallet and then open the pockets and then just remember to push that velcro, sticky velcro against the door. Try and get it right first time because once this stuff sticks on it really is extremely sticky. Um, and then that keeps your pockets in a nice position. So it's, they haven't got it in. It's, um, it's just the four there and the big one at the bottom. You can use one of those like roller things if you've got one, I guess. But that's pretty much it. Nice and easy. And um, it matches the inside of the van. 
The idea is that I'm sure once you start fitting this stuff that you'll find that you want the whole set. Um, we've got some other bits on the go at the minute, uh, some dash covers and stuff, but more of that later. But for now, that's how that's fitted and you've gained an absolute ton of storage though. Well, there you go. That's our cargo gear and cover range for you. Sure you'll agree, it's pretty damn swish. I reckon we pretty much doubled our storage space in here so far. All matching, no drill, covers up any bodges that have been done before, and um, the pricing's pretty good for you because uh, it's our own product. So feel free to check those out on campervanculture.com webshop. It's in our own CVC produced product section. And um, if you like it as much as we do, you're going to be pretty chuffed when it arrives.